What is the difference between a lorry driver, a bus driver and a commercial pilot? Arguably, I would say that the job that they all perform for society is actually exactly the same, to take goods or people from point A to point B. The thing which makes us as pilots different is the wing. Knowledge of the wing is our primary differentiator. Therefore, let's spend some time refreshing on the principles of flight. Nothing in this brief should be new to you. It should just be a, an opportunity to refresh on existing concepts which are already in your mind. However, please take time to engage with this. This is a very important uh, part of this training package and is fundamental to all understanding of everything which will go from this point forwards. But why bother? Why principles of flight now at this stage? Maybe you've got 20,000 flying hours. The uh, investigations that we've seen into upsets that have occurred uh, with successful or unsuccessful outcomes have sometimes indicated that there have been misunderstandings of pure handling techniques. Some fundamental conceptual issues that the pilots have had with uh, being able to diagnose and understand how to correctly recover the aeroplane. It may have been a while since you looked at these, so this is a good opportunity for us to revisit. And it's fundamental to everything that we'll examine in upset recovery training as correct instinctive mental models of what is actually happening with the wing, what are the dynamics of the aeroplane. These underpin all the successful recoveries. So what will we look at in this Principles of Flight Refresher? We'll start off with an examination of flight dynamics, move on to forces in flight, examine the way that the aeroplane is controlled, talk about the dynamics of manoeuvring flight, examine stalling and spinning, and finally examine the extent of the flight envelope 